So what we'd like to do now is demonstrate how to inject a tree properly. We think that there are uh, lots of simple mistakes that can be avoided if we do this correctly. Kevin's with me today, uh, just like he was earlier on some of the equipment we have talked about. So let's start by identifying where on the tree we would like to in inject. We've already identified the fact that this tree is going to require eight injection sites. So Kevin's gonna choose a spot low on the tree in the bottom eight to 10 inches or so. In this case, it looks like we have a grafted tree, so he's going to inject slightly above that. And he'll place his, his um, drill where he needs to at a perpendicular place against the bark of the tree. When Kevin starts the drilling process, he's gonna let the drill bit take itself through the bark, which is very soft and easy to do. And he's just going to let it go through that far first. You can see the beginning of white showing. And the white is the xylem of the tree. So he's just started to tap into the white xylem of the tree. Depending upon the tree that we're going to inject, in this case, it's an ash, that will dictate how deep of an injection site we will create. Generally speaking, in hardwoods, we want somewhere between an inch and inch and a half to no more than two inches. And in conifers, perhaps two inches is the correct depth uh, because the vascular tissue is much smaller and we want opportunity for good uptake. So Kevin's next going to drill to the proper depth. When you've had plenty of experience, this is sort of second nature to you, but if you need to initially measure it, that can be done as well. Kevin, go ahead. You'll notice that when he did the drilling on this site, he went in quickly and went out quickly. That's to avoid high speed drilling and therefore prevent cauterization of the tissue. We want that tissue as loose and open as possible. So now he's ready to insert the plug. Kevin's going to put a plug in next and just place it in the tree and then we'll tap it in. Okay, Kevin's gonna put the plug into the tree, just set it there, and then we're going to use a plug setter to tap it into the correct depth. Perhaps you were able to hear the change in tone of the hammer tapping it in. But the most important part that I want to stress here is that we want that plug set so that a little bit of the xylem is visible above the top of the plug. So Kevin has set the plug to the correct depth. We've set it that way so that next year as the xylem grows, the plug will be closed over and completely encapsulated in the tree. And by the next time that we inject this tree, we won't even know that this plug exists. So the next thing that Kevin's going to do is he's already calculated the dose he needs for this tree. He's gonna use the quick jet air and he's going to inject through the rubber septum into the tree. Let's watch him do that now. And just like that, he's done. In this case, Kevin is using a 10% formula, which is gonna deliver a very nice treatment with only a minimal dose of four mils. And that injection site is done and it's time to move on to the next injection site.